Do you use finger patterns? They're a really useful way of thinking about where to put your fingers on the violin. Why are they so useful? Well, if you know which finger pattern you need for a particular key, you don't need to worry about remembering each interval. You just remember the shape of the hand instead. Here's finger pattern one. This pattern is a good place for beginners to start because it's the pattern we use for the G, D and A major scales in the first position. You'll need these distances between the fingers. Between the first and the second finger, it's a whole step gap. We call this a tone. The second and third finger are close together, so that's just a half step gap or a semitone. And then between the third and the fourth finger, a whole step gap again, that's a tone. The coloured grid is a visual representation of where you need to put your fingers. The red circles represent the notes played by the first finger. The purple circles are the notes played by the second finger. There's a space of a whole step or a tone between the first and the second finger notes. The second finger notes and the third finger notes, that's the yellow circles, don't have a whole step between them. They have the space just of a half step or a semitone. And finally, between the third and the fourth finger, that's the notes in the grey circles, there's another whole step or tone.